Welcome to a new planetary and seismic update. On the map we see a lot of aftershocks in the region where the major earthquakes occurred on 6 February. And we also see some seismic activity to the south and uh, to the southeast. That's uh, Lebanon and uh, even further down and also on the other side, uh, Iraq and um, uh, Iran. And because of these major earthquakes, the stress distribution has significantly changed throughout the area. Now people have asked me, <coughs> is there going to be a major earthquake in Lebanon or even Egypt? Eventually yes, because if you look at history, these countries are prone to major seismic activity. But we cannot say based on the recent activity if that is going to happen uh, next week or in five or ten years. Nobody really knows. So what we do with our work is we isolate critical time frames based on planetary and lunar positions and possibly atmospheric fluctuations to pinpoint uh, potential regions. At this point we cannot possibly say whether there will be major seismic activity uh, following those major earthquakes in uh, central Turkey. If we look at the recent activity uh, since the 7th with a threshold of magnitude 5.6 and larger we see one seismic event at the Solomon Islands. Uh, it happened after the smaller lunar peak on the 8th and really towards the higher lunar peak on, uh, late on the 9th and 10th. We had it yesterday night and early this morning. And that lunar peak will be significant in the coming days. We could, uh, we could see a seismic increase possibly into the 6 magnitude range, 6.4, maybe larger, 6.7. Um, this is because the Moon um, had a conjunction with uh, Jupiter and I marked it here uh, with this green line and these conjunctions they can be pretty critical. In a worst case scenario, and that's a really worst case scenario, we could see a major seismic event in the next few days. It could be later today or on 11 or 12 following that lunar peak. But my estimate currently is that it will stay in the 6 magnitude range, possibly between 6.4 and uh, 6.7 roughly. Uh, then we see critical planetary geometry further down the week. Um, that will become more critical. It's sort of a convergence of critical planetary geometry on the 14th and 15th. And it could mark the four, roughly the 15th to the 17th as more critical. But I will um, explain that planetary geometry in much more detail in the next update. We are not there yet and it also depends on what's going to happen in the next few days. If we look at atmospheric fluctuations uh, that we picked up in the last couple of days. On the 2nd, this is about 8 days ago, but it may still be somewhat significant. On the 2nd we had this fluctuation over South America and uh, possibly the Eastern Caribbean plate, but we already had a magnitude 5.6 in Chile following that fluctuation and maybe that's all. I'm not sure about that. Then we have fluctuations on uh, the 4th and uh, that was over the Gulf of California. I think I said the Gulf of Mexico in the previous update. Of course it's the Gulf of California. And um, into the Pacific <clears throat> could also mean uh, the Easter Island region or further down the Pacific Antarctic Ridge. And that would be around 6 magnitude usually or up to low 6. Then we have fluctuations marking um, uh, Alaska and further down Tonga Fiji region down to New Zealand. Uh, I covered these also in the previous update and um, they could be significant later today these fluctuations uh, because if we count six days, about six days, that we would end up on the 10th so that would be, could be later today or tomorrow possibly so these fluctuations on the 4th uh, again that is um, possibly Mexico, Guerrero Mexico maybe uh, I'll show you another fluctuation in a minute that we picked up yesterday and also um, Alaska maybe and further down Tonga Fiji that's always a seismically active area we wouldn't be surprised to see some seismic increase there but it could also be significant for New Zealand and that could be later today it could be significant for later today then um, on the 7th we picked up a fluctuation that was uh, marking regions over the West Pacific could be Japan Taiwan uh, Philippines possibly and um, uh, Indonesia uh, that was on the 7th, so that could be significant in the next few days, uh, tomorrow, the 11th, 12th, maybe. Following the lunar peak, we correlate it to the positions of the planets in the Moon. We don't have critical planetary geometry, but we do have this lunar peak on the 9th, 10th, and uh, from the 10th to the 12th. So this fluctuation on the 7th over the West Pacific could also be significant in the next few days. 
we have two more fluctuations that we picked up yesterday. And uh, one is again marking the region uh, around Mexico, Guerrero, Mexico. Uh, it's a rough estimate, so it could be a bit to the north, could be a bit to the south, Central America. Um, we cannot be more precise than that with these fluctuations. And then we also marked a fluctuation over Afghanistan, Pakistan again. Um, it could also be to the east and west again. It's a rough estimate. But because these fluctuations were on the 9th, uh, they could also become significant for the critical planetary geometry that we have on the 14th and 15th, uh, later on in the week, um, around the 15th or following the 15th. Not sure yet. It very much depends on what happens in the next few days. It could also be significant already in the next few days. Again, it really depends on what happens uh, following this lunar peak that we had uh, yesterday night. This is the information that we have so far. Be safe. Until next time.